people. Thanks for coming by. I want to share a bit of a testimony today that I think is going to be of good use to a lot of men, um, given that we are not culturalized to accept that we could fail in a relationship. If you haven't subscribed to Pro Theologist, which is my religious channel, and Pro Brick Exclusive, which is more secular, they both combine a lot of the same videos. Subscribe and um, give me some encouragement. That's all I ask. It doesn't cost anything. Click the button. And um, if you find this is helpful. Well, my um, interactions with girls has been for most of my life. Um, I had my first girlfriend in kindergarten um, when I first got to school. And... Um, yeah, I've always knocked around with girls and after school or during school or on the school bus and always had a girlfriend there somewhere and um, spent most of my life with girls, two marriages, um, two divorces unfortunately, uh, which is reflective of how we can change, we all change one way or another, um, be it the female or the bloke but one thing you have to do is learn from your losses you've got to learn from the things you experience from the messages that you've been sent by that loss um, or by the behavior of which you've witnessed um, by that loss and these things that life will send to you are very important because if you miss the opportunity to learn from the failure of yourself or the failure of somebody else, you may not get that lesson again. So you'll go through that pain and carnage and it may possibly end up being a waste of time. And you don't want that to happen, that's for sure. You want to learn from every opportunity that you can get. And one way of doing that is to make sure that you're of a sound mind. If you're mucking around with drugs and alcohol, be it intermittently or in an addictive fashion or self-abusive way or self-trashing way, you need to sort that out so that you don't miss the micro-incremental messages that are passing to and through between um, the man and the woman as you interact throughout the relationship. Um, People change as the journey goes along. Some change for better, some change for worse, some change for better and worse. There's all different combinations that can happen through the journey. But what we don't understand is what ingredients is coming out of the two people. When you take the two, this ingredient, this franchise, this ingredient, this franchise, this person, these two different people, and you join them together, you're going to end up with a product. And the product is the fruit that comes out of the behavior these two people have towards each other, measured by the integrity and morality that they give and, and share with each other. When the integrity and the morality goes from one franchise or the other, then the building's going to collapse and the relationship will fail. It all comes down to value. As soon as one partner starts to lose value, then the thing's going to start to go down the tubes. And this can happen in so many different ways. A lot of people today don't just come up to the other person and go, well, I've had enough of this. I've, <laughs> I've sort of become tolerant, but once you break my tolerance, I just go, oh, no. No, I'm not going to do this anymore. Um, and they'll disappear. You won't see them again, which is usually how it's supposed to be. The only one that I see now is the mother of the children. I had all my children to the one woman. Um, but that's only by way of association. Uh, and you've got to give... A, she gets a certain element of respect because she brought the children into the world. So... Um, the others, they just come and go and get on with what they're going to do and you get on with what you're going to do. 
the interesting part about it is a lot of these women when you get to 60 yeah I'm almost 60 um, you will find that a lot of the trouble does come from their children particularly if they're enmeshed particularly if they're in um, a dependency situation with their children be it an emotional dependency or the children depending on them financially there's all different combinations and ways in which these people um, become enmeshed and messed up and twisted up and when you start taking supply away from one of these children or a parent if you're with one of the children um, you will start to see all sorts of um, weird and wonderful theatre uh, start to take place in the attitude and behaviours of these people and if you're in the mix and you're in the middle of it all no oh no no it's um, not going to be uh, a good situation at all because while you're devoting yourself and you're just going through the motions and doing what men's supposed to do and you better make sure you're doing what men's supposed to do that's presenting yourself in a wholesome way that's staying fit staying active staying a hundred percent mentally available to this person not drugged out not drunk not leaving people guessing not going absent not going missing available not smothering but wholeheartedly available that's where you cannot get caught out and what i mean by that is if the person that you're with starts to fail starts to devalue which is a narcissistic term starts to disintegrate starts to lose their way in the relationship that enables you then to be able to make sure you're on point and a lot of men aren't culturalized to understand that you can back out away from somebody relative to the way in which they're behaving by badly by commission or omission by the things that they're doing or the things that they're not doing that aren't suitable for the arrangement which you have within that relationship now this is where we miss it you need to understand that if you're working you're part of the ingredients on a fair even plane and the other person starts to disintegrate starts to take away their investment and you start to invest to try and bring them back you're over investing it's called a sunken investment you just over but you're pouring your self into something that's not going to hold it's not going to come back up it might come back up for a minute and then drop again you're allowed as that drops you don't move forward you move back right you move back and if they keep falling you move away and let them fall because if you've come to a place where there has to be resolve and that resolves not taking place and you keep investing you keep chasing while they're falling away you're sinking yourself, your mental and personal energy and person into something that is not reciprocating. Okay. So as they fall away, as the situation's not the way you think it should be, as they fall away, you fall, you move, you change direction, you change direction. You keep doing your exercise, you keep doing your staying on purpose you keep staying straight as they fall away you stay steadfast but you're not investing into a sunken investment you're just staying steadfast and your focus changes so as they fall away they fall away to nothing and then they'll pop back up and expect you to turn straight back no they've lost their credibility they're not crediting to the relation they've lost their credibility and you keep moving forward towards things that are best for you because this is the common way in which men's men are being 
destroyed today. Now, I'm not here to represent women. I'm here to represent men. This is how men are being broken. They're committing themselves. They're being presented with an even investment from the other person. The other person stops investing. There's a bit, bit of a tangle and a tussle at first. Right, things level out and then we find out who's who. Right, and as that person falls away, you can try and invest for a while, but if it keeps micro-incrementally falling away, you have to bring, come back so that you don't sink. See, the further you go past your boundary into chasing that other person, the further your mental health's gonna suffer because you're stressed, you're in stress. You're trying to chase a debt that you don't have to pay. Okay, so as they fall away, you detach. You detach accordingly. That keeps the value on you and it shows that the value they haven't got. And you move in the direction that's going to work for you with somebody else. Or on your own until you're ready to find somebody else. And they'll go and do what they've got to do. They'll stay in debt because that's what their investment, the best they could invest in the end was debt. They go into indebtedness. So as they go into indebtedness, you detach. And they come back, stay detached until they prove that they're gonna hold. And if they don't hold, you just detach. And you'll see that it's a normal way of breaking up without the stress. This is Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Thank you for coming in. Bye for now.